In the budget, we see an allocation of 7.3 million uh, for uh, co-design options for a voice to the parliament. Can you clarify what it is that the government's doing here? Has the, has the Prime Minister changed his view? Have you changed your view? Has a, the party changed its view? Or? Well, I'm, I'm delighted to help you, Senator. I'm um, very we're, delighted what we're actually, you will. What we're actually doing, this, uh, this investment is actually consistent with the recommendations of your committee. So what's made you change your mind? Well, I don't, I don't accept the premise of your question that I or anyone well, else has changed their mind. Senator. Well, we've, well, we've, we've, where's we've the headline statement saying the Coalition is now in support of the propositions that have come from the Uluru Statement? The premise that you're putting forward is, is somehow that we should support the Uluru Statement. Now, let me tell you, Senator, you know my view about that. I think, the Uluru, statement, I think the Uluru Statement was so lacking in detail that no one can support it. All I'm trying to get clear is is there a commitment by your side of politics to the referendum process to entrench the voice in the constitution? Well, no, no, there isn't because we don't no, understand what the, no, the proposal is. Oh, we don't I'm, even understand I'm what happy the proposal with that. is. No, that you've got no commitment to the referendum process. What is the proposal, to Senator? To the voice What the is the proposition? What, the voice? That's five letters. It's got to be a bit better than that, mate. Well, that's the of course challenge. it has to be. Of course well, it has to be. Well, that's, that's why what we we're... have to invest $7.3 to actually talk to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander to see what their view is, beyond just a symbolism well, I of... I thought they gave us their view. Their view was, we want the voice entrenched in the Constitution. OK, so... Wasn't what, that what, their voice? So how does a voice work, Senator? Well, who, who, who gets elected to the voice, Senator? Well, I presume uh, how, men and how, women. How, I, I presume you know... men and women are the First Nations. Well, <laughs> OK, well, how does that work, Senator? I'm just trying to get clear what the position is of your government, because... We've had contrary views. The Prime Minister's on the record saying this is a third chamber, whichever way you dressed it up. He said that back in, uh, in uh, October, I think it was. And you've said this is a waste of space, basically. And now you're coming out in the budget where there's nothing in the budget. It's already been committed somewhere. I'm not sure where from. There's $7.3 million. The whole reconciliation process would be set back enormously if Australia would not support the contention of a change to our constitution through a referendum. The fear factor will not work on me, I'm sorry, Minister, because I think the Australian public are far more intelligent about what is at stake here. And you cannot give a commitment to supporting a process to entrench the voice by way of referendum. Well, if that's the position, Mr Chairman, I'm happy with that. Thanks, Senator Well, that's, that's actually, can I say, Mr Chairman, uh, that's not actually my position. My position.